I just want to speak on Lane Kiffin and the Ole Miss Rebels for a minute. Lane Kiffin and Ole Miss, the past four games, they've been blowing teams out, putting up 70 points, 50 points, 40 points. They've been scoring all of these points on these teams. As a matter of fact, Furman, first game, they scored 76. Against Middle Tennessee, 52. Against Wake Forest, 40 points. Against Georgia Southern last week, 52 points. Granted, those teams are not on the same level as Ole Miss. Those coaches are not on the same level as Lane Kiffin. But as soon this happens every freaking year with Lane Kiffin and Ole Miss, they get their fans to thinking that they are a contender. I'll just say that. But then as soon as they get tested, as soon as they get in the SEC play, it all comes crashing down, just like it did this past weekend. Kentucky came in in this game 2-2, two and two, unranked, goes into Oxford, Mississippi, and beat the Ole Miss Rebels. And here it is, me personally been saying, hey, Ole Miss could possibly beat Georgia. Well, this has changed my mind drastically. Drastically. Because, granted, Kentucky, they got a pretty good defense. I got to give them that. Kentucky played a hell of a game against Georgia. Then they goes to uh, down to also Mississippi and beats Lane Kiffin and that high-powered offense, what we thought was a high-powered offense. So, Lane Kiffin and, and these Rebels making me think, well, maybe I should have been thinking this way, that they are nothing but frauds. They can beat up on the smaller programs, programs that shouldn't even be on the field with them. But then when it comes to the SEC, they falter. And it, and it continues to happen year after year after year, okay? Just like last year, coming this year, I was thinking, hey, Lane Kiffin got himself something. Lane Kiffin got himself something. But every single time, every single year, when it comes to SEC, I don't know what happens to Lane Kiffin and his Rebels. Now, he went in the transfer portal. He got all some of the best players out the transfer portal, and yet he still can't get it done against the SEC. I just don't understand it. I don't understand it. He, st he still had to go for a couple of fourth downs against Kentucky. Dane, uh, uh, Kentucky wide receiver Dane Key was out there killing Trey Amos. Now, granted, I got to give credit to, to Trey Harris, old Miss wide receiver, because he was doing his thing too. Brock Vandegrift, he's not the greatest of quarterbacks, but Jackson Dart is a solid quarterback, and Lane Kiffin still find ways to lose games. Still. I mean, Kentucky, first and 20, pick it up on one play. Fourth and five, it go for about 65 freaking yards. That's crazy, but that is a Pete Golden defense. Don't let us forget about that. That is a Pete Golden defense. But coming into this game, I would, would have never thought that Kentucky would beat Ole Miss. I wouldn't even think that this game would be close. But it was close throughout, and Kentucky wind up winning the game. Field goal, uh, kicker had a chance to tie the game up, possibly send it into overtime, and that bitch, I don't know what he was kicking that ball. It was it was way, way, way left. Not even near the, the, the goal post. I mean, not even near it. But Lane Kiffin, he's a fraud. I'm t and, and he having the nerve to troll other coaches and other teams. He's a fraud. He's a fraud, I'm telling you. And if you look at Ole Miss, the rest of Ole Miss uh, schedule, all right? South Carolina. South Carolina really ain't no punks this season. South Carolina is an improved team from last season. They got Ole Miss. They got Oklahoma, Arkansas, uh, Georgia. Once again, they'll beat Florida and Mississippi State They last two games. But it, they could have some more losses on their schedule. Georgia, LSU, Possibly Oklahoma and South Carolina. Oklahoma doesn't have a bad defense, just like Kentucky don't have a bad defense. So Ole Miss could be looking at two to three more losses. And 
you know, they was ranked number six, I believe, coming into uh, uh, this past weekend. I don't know where they at now. Really don't care. Really don't know if they stayed the same or if they moved down, which they should have moved down. I don't know. But I tell you what, it's, they about to go south. Lane Kiffin, he got us thinking he's this great offensive mind. He's thinking he's a proven head coach. I haven't seen one, even though this is not a big game, I haven't seen one big game that Lane Kiffin has won. So I am off the lane train. I'm off the lane train officially until Lane Kiffin show me that he can win big games. I'm off the I'm off the lane train until he showed me that he can win consistently against SEC opponents, not these <coughs> weak group of five teams and FCS teams and and middle of the road ACC, Big Ten, or out of conference teams. Until he can show me that he can win consistently in the SEC against the good teams. I would no longer be on the Lane train. Because Lane Kiffin ain't really showed me nothing. I'm telling you that right now. But I was high on the hole with him. This, this season, really. But he ain't showed nothing. He can score a lot of points against bottom of the barrel teams. And Kentucky, like I said, 2-2, two and two, unranked. All right? This is their first SEC win of the 2024 season against Lane Train and those old Miss Rebels. I don't know what to say. What else to say about Lane Kiffin? I, I just don't know what to say. You go and you you address your needs via the transfer portal and you, and you get to some hell of a good transfer players. But guess what? You can't you can't win in the SEC with them. Why? I, I have the slightest clue. I have the slightest clue. clue. But Lane Kiffin, <laughs> you, need to, you need to get it right. You need to do better because you've been doing the same shit year after year after year. Every year you've been the head coach at Ole Miss, you've been doing the same exact shit. Get those fans and some fans like me from other fan bases thinking that this could be y'all year where you could possibly go to an SEC championship. And it just goes down the damn drain. Soon as you get to SEC play. And this is your first, at Kentucky was your first SEC opponent. And if you can't beat them, what are you going to do with LSU? What are you going to do with Alabama? Well, you don't play Alabama. What are you going to do with Georgia? What are you going to do with Oklahoma? And possibly even South Carolina. What are you going to do with them? Because as of right now, I see two to three more losses for Lane Kiffin, and they'll do just like they always do. Just go to a simple bowl game that really don't mean nothing to anybody. Have a lot of damn players opt out of that. So, hey, it is what it is, Lane Kiffin. You probably should just go back to being an offense coordinator because you are great at that. Absolutely great. But anyway, that's all I got to say about Lane Kiffin and these old Miss Rebels and Hey, Lane Kiffin, trust me, your name is on the list for the hot seat. You can believe that because this is a travesty. But anyway, y'all remember, be blessed, and I don't give a piss about nothing but the tide and roll damn tide.